Good evening and welcome back to Let's Play The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. When we left off last time, I killed the succubus and I feel really bad about it. After I haven't looked at her down there, she's just brushing her hair, doing her thing. Um, After I did it, it looking at the quest log, they, I don't know what it is, but there, this happened in game 2 as well. Remember the succubus there? Um, I killed her first. And then I thought, no, 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 this doesn't feel right. I feel terrible about this. We didn't have conclusive proof. And then we came back and investigated more. And yeah, it was totally Elias. It was not her. Um, yeah, in both cases, innocent succubi. Something about it, I don't know if it... They're not usually killers in the lore of the Witcher. For some reason, though, I forget that. And I see them and I think, no, oh, no, they're killing people. And they're going to try and, and lure me with their wiles and whatever. And I'm not falling for that crap. But um, no, they're, they're not actually bad at all. So, she did kill the guards, but I think that it was like she said, that they attacked her. And so it was self-defense, and everyone has a right to self-defense. Um, but, since our only options are kill her, or she needs to get out of town, uh, she she does need to get out of town. It's not safe for her here anymore. You know, I mean, they, they put out a contract, so. We're going to talk to her. I'm not going to kill her. Who are you? Never heard of witchers. I like her mask there. Have you come to kill me? No. Another thing someone pointed out to me, and this I totally missed, um, we could actually have gone into Crippled Kate's. And if we talked to her, uh, it turns out that she's got a deal. Succubus is kind of working as a prostitute for her. Um, a profitable one. And so that makes more sense looking at the rooms here where she's staying. Like, this definitely does look like... You know, it's, def it's set up to be the kind of elegant, mysterious thing. She's, like, wearing this mask. So it's not that she just happens to be living in the city and preying on whoever comes her way. Um, and not even really preying nefariously, because, as we said, the, the succubi don't generally kill people. Um, they just need a little bit of sexual energy. Come on. Uh, anyhow, no, she's she's got... Actually, I kind of admire that. I mean, that seems really reasonable on both their sides. She has steady access to customers, and... Her madam is going to make all kinds of money because she's got this exotic sort of gal, gal working for her. I mean, it, it seems like a win-win. Um, unfortunately, this town's just not safe for her anymore. So, we want to talk. I do not want to kill you. I'm sorry that I killed you the first Demo. time. Want to talk first? Why'd you kill those guards? I was careless. Let them surprise me. They wished to kill me. I had to defend myself. That it? No heart-rending story about human hatred for all things different, all things strange. I'm not one to lie, nor do I kill without reason. And I think she's telling me the absolute truth there. And that really should have been my tip off there, that she didn't try to sell me on the whole tragic story or whatever. She just laid out the bare facts. This is what happened. Um, I don't know. First go round, I was just convinced that she was trying to pull one over on me. Um, and thought that I'd be just this stupid, beguiled sort of male and she'd get away with it. But no. No, I think I think it really is what she's saying. So, not going to kill you, um, but you do need to go. It's it's just not safe for you here. They attacked you once, they're going to try it again. Or they're going to hire someone else until someone manages to take you down. City. And what if I don't? Well, I'll have to kill you. Mm. I despise change. How stupid of me to walk into an ambush, let myself be surprised. I'll have to lie about killing you. Usually I bring a trophy. Very well, take this. And this, because I'm furious with you. What, is she gonna hit me or something? Though I shall calm down once I'm away from this place. Margrim, huh? She's furious with me. I mean, I understand. I hate change, too. And she's got a nice setup here. But at the same time, I don't know. Geralt says, you have to leave or I'll have to kill you. I'm not taking it that way now. I know I said last time that it seemed like she was deliberately preying on guards and she was going to keep doing it, but I think I, I think I was wrong about that. I think it really just is what it, it seems to be. They, they ambushed her. She didn't expect that, and I don't know. The, especially now that, that you guys let me know in the comments that she works for Kate, I'm feeling that um, maybe some of those guards like were customers or something. They caught wind of her somehow. And so it was like they know about her. It's not that she's just some mysterious monster, some mysterious who knows what that killed these guys. Maybe they, I mean, if they made a lot, if they laid an ambush for her, then they knew specifically who she was and what she was all about. Um, I don't know. It seems unlikely to me that they're going to just let go. 
they're gonna if they have an idea of who she is, then they might be able to t if they just see her around later, then they're gonna know that we didn't kill her. So yeah, for her own safety, she needs to leave. And it does suck for her. I mean, she's got this this whole thing all set up here. She even has a bathtub big enough to fit her in there. No, I made up. But um, she's got everything very nicely set up here. It it, it would be a big pain in the butt to have to leave. Okay, what did she give me here? Mogram. Extra quiet, extra ear and intensity, and bonus experience from monsters. Mm -mm. Kinda cool. I I like that at the end though that she adds that she's furious with me now, but she won't be later. When she's like, come track me down somewhere. Visit me again. <laughs> Okay, so did she actually give me something that- yeah, she did give me a trophy, didn't she? Ooh, bonus gold! Do I want that instead of 5% bonus experience? I think I do. The experience is probably better, but we do enough quests and we fight enough things that I think we're gonna be okay. I have- I have- I have almost 8,000 gold, that's not too bad, but I am greedy and I want more, so... A little more gold. Okay. So- Let's go lie to these guys and tell them we totally took care of the succubus problem, even though we didn't. Trouble? Well, I mean, we did. She's gonna go. I, I believe her that she will go. She's mad about it. She doesn't want to, but she's gonna. Might as well repair our stuff while we're here. Oh, Hattori, you're the dumpling guy. Hey, hey. What do you have on offer? Redanian dumplings, speciality of the house, heartily recommended. Blimey. A vat gun in my establishment? It can't be. It is. I know I'm a witcher. Are you joking? Silver blades. Who else uses them? Mm. Crafted in Mahakam, am I right? Must be about 40 inches long. An elven sword expert. You must be Ibir Hattori. Ah, indeed. I am. Geralt of Rivia. Heard a lot of good things about you. A pleasure, Geralt. How might I help you? Care to try a dumpling? Yes, please. Uh, yeah, I will totally have a dumpling. Master Swordsmith offers you a dumpling. You gotta eat it. Mmm. Tasty. Mm, glad to hear it. Anything else I can do for you? Yes, I did not just come here for dumplings. So. Looking for a good swordsmith. No one? <laughs> Three swords on your back. A bit much, don't you think? Good one. But all jests aside... You make swords anymore? That was kind of a nice really? detail just then. You could see a guy Dumplings through the window. Now. I must make a living. But I miss the hammer, anvil, and bellows. Oh, the heat of the forge. There he is, looking in. Um, well, not for that swiving Van Horn. Tell me about Van Horn. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, I shan't greet a witcher with dumplings. Come, let me show you something. Show me. Uh, if there's a way I can hook you up, with forge and your bellows and everything, I am into that. Quite a collection. Sad thing for a master not to be able to, to practice his craft. Thank you. I've kept these as mementos. Damn shame you don't make them anymore. I'd gladly replace what I have with this kind of steel. Someone with your skills? Why the hell are you needing dough? Yeah. This might surprise you. The pay is better. Really? But above all, it's much safer. Food vendors rarely disappear or end up as cripples. Fair point. I see. Someone controlling Novigrad's smithing market? Wait, Not is this with the guild? Though all supplies go through Ernst Van Horn, and they say he plays cards with Cleaver frequently. Tell me more about Cleaver. And Ernst Van Horn. I want to hear all of it. Ernst Van Horn. Who's that? Modest beginnings. A small dockside workshop. However, he proved extremely ambitious. He knew he could not compete with other sword makers on skill alone, so he resorted to other methods. Other methods? A bit of slander here. Buying business debt cheaply and taking over there. And whenever the competition was a plowing non-human, he'd accuse them of being Havocars. Is that how he did you in? I did not give up without a fight. I went to Town Hall, negotiated. 
Alas, it was all in vain. He'd already enlisted Cleaver's protection. And in Novigrad, few dare get in Cleaver's way. As a consumer, this actually really makes me angry. And real-life instances of this kind of thing as well. We're supposed to have access to the best of goods. That's what capitalism and the free market and all of that is supposed to be about, right? Business reg is ideally supposed to regulate itself, the best goods sell, but instead people do underhanded things like that. And even though this guy is a master smith, people don't have access to the things that he can make because of this guy with less talent who's just willing to operate in unethical means. It, it makes me think of um, streetcars. Apparently streetcars used to be like a really big thing, right? And they were actually pretty effective. And, you know, they, they seem to be doing well. But then um, your regular motor cars were coming out and your motor car industries were threatened by the streetcars. And so they like bought them up and then like discontinued lines and didn't use them and stuff. So basically they denied consumers the ability to use them anymore. They were no longer available because they wanted to force them into using regular cars instead. And this is a very simplified, simplified um, sort of just general explanation of what happened. But I remember learning something about this and it was kind of like, we could be in a whole different world now. Totally different transportation, much better public transportation in the United States at least, except for these other unethical companies in the past that decided to just kill a market to force us to buy their product instead. It makes me really, really angry when I'm, I don't have access to other things because of crap like that. Not because the things aren't good enough to succeed in the market, but because other people are deliberately keeping them away from consumers. We're going to take this Ernst Van Horn down. I am very upset on your behalf, Hattori. If my control, I'm upset that my controller's not synced also. Oh my gosh, this, come on, don't do this to me. My trusty, faithful controller, don't give up now. Making a deal? With Van Horn? Do you jest? He's a proper heartless bastard. Either play by his rules and pay him, or go out of business. Hmm, I see. But I shan't complain. Dumplings have proven an excellent source of income. I'm still floored by that. Just really? Dumplings? Well, uh... You miss the heat of the forge. Tried getting supplies from someone else? Those rogues of the underworld control all the sources. How am I to talk to them? Unless... Would you be willing to help me? Absolutely. I'm also concerned that this is going to tie in. We saw the, the notices about the guild in um, Novigrad and how the guild is committed to ensuring that there's no crappy quality stuff sold. Everyone has to meet the standards of the guild. Well, if somehow this guy was able to be starved out, I wonder if it, I don't know, it sounds to me like the corruption extends to the guild. Which is really a sad thing if it's true, because then that diminishes the... The guild guarantee that if you buy anything in Novigrad, then it's guaranteed to be good because they have standards. Well, clearly they don't, actually. Want me to help you get your supplies? How? Just come with me to a meeting. As my bodyguard, it'll bolster my confidence. Truth be told, not so long ago, I tried negotiating some iron deliveries with one of the King of Beggars' men. Hm. Take it he's important in the underworld, too. Yes. What's more, he's on piss-poor terms with Cleaver, who backs Van Horn. It's just... He demanded an inordinately large share of the profits. I thought you might help me negotiate. I don't mean gratis. I'm certain we can agree on a fee. Could I... choose something from your collection? Oh, that seems but fair. Forget this rubbish. I shall forge you a sword fit for killing gods. It's a deal, buddy. No, Criminal underworld. I'm really sure I want to meddle with them. You're gonna though, Geralt. I need your help. Van Horn is a Van Horsen. <laughs> he must be taught a lesson. I'd be eternally grateful. Plate armor, yours. Or perhaps you'd like a catapult or a, a trebuchet. Yes, but what would I do with such things? I kind of really want a catapult or trebuchet. Just to have them, but... Like, the only reasonable place to put such things would be in Kaer Morhen, and how are we going to transport them there? And Kaer Morhen doesn't usually really need them. 
as cool as it would be to have a catapult or a trebuchet. Um, no, I'll take a sword fit for killing gods. That sounds great. Fine. Arrange the meeting. Splendid. Meet me after dark. Near the crane at the docks. All right. Will do. I didn't realize that Crippled Cates was actually a bordello. I thought she was a beggar for some reason. Uh-huh. Hypocrites. I like this bard's uh, booty shaking dance here that's kind of cracking me up. Keep going, don't stop now. Look at him, getting his groove on right in the middle of the street. He doesn't care who's watching. Dancing fit to match the strumpet. All right. You guys are much less graceful. Okay. Cheap wine skirts because it's good and cheap. Fingers punishable by death. Winds howling. Everyone's so excited on this evening. We got some music. It's not raining. We can get out and dance. Hard times we live in. Uh, so what? All right. So anyhow, I am behaving just fine, mostly. Do, 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 do. Hmm? So, about that problem. Guards were killed by a succubus. Su succubus? In Novigrad? How? Light of the eternal fire protects the city. Yeah. Must have gone out a few times <laughs> recently. Anyway, succubus won't harm anyone anymore. Here's proof. Masterful work, Witcher. And here's your reward. As promised. Farewell. All right then. Uh, okay. The thing to do now, because you guys are telling me that it's going to, it's going to open up a bunch of other quests for me. And because if we're honest, this is a thing that Geralt would do, because he's looking for Siri. He's in Novigrad. I like the picture. Um. And I showed it a couple episodes back when you first loaded up in this area of town and it talks about, okay, the spies said that she was in Novigrad or whatever, and it's showing us at the burning and Geralt just looks kind of totally lost in the crowd there. Like, I'm in this humongous city and I don't have the first freaking clue where to go to find Ciri here. All I heard is that she's in here, I don't know where. But he also knows that Triss is here, she is his friend, and if he's heard rumors of Ciri being here, then her being in Novigrad and being someone who Ciri sees as his sister, you know, um... She should some have some idea where to go. So, yeah, no. Oh fuck! Don't write it. Now you. All right, so we're gonna. Oh my gosh, we were right next to her house too. Who knew? Well, that's handy. Um, maybe not. How do I get there? Up here. I to leave this city somehow. A bit of upper echelon, huh? It does make sense that she'd live in the nicer... Well, she's kind of been hiding, though. There was that sign on a notice, abo notice board about looking for her. But I would assume, being a sorceress, that she would live in the nicer part of town. Maxime Bollier, I really want you to do something. Okay, so... She's somewhere around here. I think I'm going all the wrong ways to get to her. But we're gonna make it happen. Is there a door over here? Just look at this lock. The truth is, we're already dependent on the black ones economically. Yeah. You mean like Novigrad in general, or you guys in particular? Like, does the Empire appreciate plays better than your normal everyday Novigradians? Excuse me. Alright. Hierarch Square, that's the place to find her, eh? Or somewhere around here. Um. No. Through here? No. It's like a witch with muscle. Cast a spell when it's gone in a flash. Oh! 
This place has been fixed. What happened to her house? Oh, okay. Piecing things together. Maybe she lived here peacefully, but then we saw that sign and that was our tip off that things aren't going well for her and now we gotta track her down and figure out where she is. Hey, shut up. We're <laughs> they're, they're just straight up front about it. We're looting. Um, okay, now let's talk a bit. Tell me about what happened to the sorceress that lived here. Not here for the loot. Interested in the sorceress who lived here. And we're supposed to believe that. Believe it or don't believe it, that's why I'm here. Yeah. Most likely I did in some rat trap with the rest of them. What do you mean, rest of them? Oh, because of all the witch hunters in the city? Who's she hiding from? Temple Gods cracking down. All mages are fair game. Yeah, they round them up like rats. Mm. Someone's gotta know more. I'd look for her in a putrid grove. The putrid grove. Sounds like a great place to be. Putrid grove. Interesting, as names go. Oh, I'd be scum and freakery if it ever was one. No decent folk show their hides there. That why you think I should look for my friend there? Oh, I meant no offense. It sounds like maybe a good place to hide. I don't think he's saying that she's necessarily a freak or whatever else. Um, I mean, he hasn't said anything thus far about, yeah, Temple Guards are cracking down on those nasty mages. Like, he doesn't seem to really care about mages one way or the other. Um, no, I think he's got a point. Hide out with the undesirables. No one's going to look too close, right? Putrid Grove. Where is it? I wouldn't know. Rumor has it, it's a place for freaks and oddities. You'd fit in well there. Thanks, buddy. Maybe. Thing is, gotta know how to get there. They say you gotta get there through the sewers, but you gotta enter them outside of town. Hmm. Few know where exactly, though. Who might Ask know where exactly? Or spot yourself a thief. Follow him. Beggars and thieves right. gotta pay tribute to the king of beggars. Word is, they do it in the crowd. Thank you, that is useful information. Local beggars have a king, mm -hmm. crown, scepter, and all that. Wouldn't scoff, mate. King of beggars, it's a moniker. Yeah, for a man who everyone in Novigrad respects deeply. And watch yourself. Menger himself don't even go to the grove. Who's Menger? Someone call for me. You? Wonder why. It's Menger. Temple God. Hmm. Try it. Thieving vermin to the confession chamber. What, well, but sir, what's the offense? This is some sorceress bitchy shop. Think that gives you the right to steal her property? Well, sorcerers, majors of all types, are outlaws. But by law, the temple guard takes possession uh -huh. of their belongings. And the rule of law still holds in Novigrad. Alright, well, I'm not a thief, so um, I'm just going to go on my way. I was just talking. You know a bat can sniff out a moth a mile away. No crime in that. Yeah, we totally gotta correct him. I kind of like the first option. Don't know much about small animals, but no, no, we gotta set him straight. Got nothing to do with their sense of smell. It's about their hearing. Well, well, man knows his bats. Here, I thought you only cared about monsters. There's bats like monsters. Those bats sense moths. So I sense freaks. And start by warning them. Novigrad's no place for your kind. So what are you gonna do about it? Heard Novigrad was no place for mages. Now you're telling me it's no place for witchers. So who's it a place for? Righteous folk professing the one true faith in the eternal fire. Yeah, because I've mostly now seen just a lot of bandits. You now, but just know that I know you're here. One misstep. One error, you'll make a mistake, it's inevitable. Try it, buddy. I'll be the first to learn of it. And when I do, it'll be standard procedure. Like for every magic oddity who dares taint this city's air. Hmm. Be seeing you. Yeah, I'm looking forward to potentially fighting him at some point. Alright. Well, we are going to go ahead and loot her stuff, because otherwise the temple's going to. So we might as well get what we can out of it all, eh? Oh, man. All kinds of stuff. 
What does all this graffiti say? Ah, oh, well, I think I know what this little mushroomy looking one is. <clears throat> uh, but what about the rest of it? Oh my! That's... That is quite the picture someone drew there! This one's kind of cool. Oh, she had like this whole pleasant little courtyard out here too. This was kind of a nice house. I wonder if it's just her courtyard. Does she share it with the neighbors? They don't have a door on this side. It seems like it's just hers. To have an, you know, a patch of yard that's all your own in the midst of this big city. That seems pretty. She was doing rather well here. Until the city became an unfriendly place for mages. I'm not reading that book, so I'm sure we've read it before. Oh, her brush. Her brush. Only ever known Triss to use one like this. Alright, my evening with a vampire. You will no doubt call me a liar, a cheat, and a madman. You will shake your head in pity and snort in disbelief. But I promise you, I swear on all the gods, everything which you shall read in the pages to follow is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. I met the vampire of which I write years ago, in an inn in Beauclair. He introduced himself to me as Regis, Regis, and said he was a barber and a medic. Since he looked in every aspect like a mortal man, I might never have even suspected his true nature, had not a fire broken out shortly thereafter in the establishment in which we were residing. This Regis, if that truly was his name... Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm feeling pretty confident that he told us the truth on that. ...stood completely untouched by the flames, whereas my own clothing quickly caught fire. The vampire carried me out of the burning inn, saving my life from certain death, then treated my numerous wounds. Because he was a pretty swell fella, actually. At first, Regis refused to answer my query as to how he had miraculously survived the furnace, like temperatures inside the burning inn, without so much as a scratch on his body or a hair singed on his head. Eventually, however, he must have sensed I was a man of the world, one who would not jump to hasty judgments based on appearance or species, and revealed his identity, along with a great number of highly interesting facts. According to Regis, not all vampires are alike. Their vast, this vast family contains both mindless catacans, fleeters, and akamaras, who in form resemble overgrown bats far more than humans. Yeah, the guy was all like, oh, you know your bats, huh? Yeah, I'm a witcher, dummy. As well as Alps and Bruxe, who look remarkably like comely maids. In addition to these, there are the even more powerful higher vampires, to which genus belonged my unexpected acquaintance. Not even a witcher can discern a higher vampire from a mortal man. Contrary to popular belief, they cannot be killed by pounding aspen stakes into their chests, nor by cutting off their heads, nor, as I can vouch for based on personal experience, by fire. They do not fear running water, garlic, or the symbols of any creed. It might be some consolation to learn a vampire's bite does not turn a human into one of their number, and they do not in any way need our blood in order to survive. To them, it is merely a delicacy in which they indulge from time to time, like men do with fine wine. Regis asked me to keep his tale to myself, but now, as I lay on my deathbed, I feel that I must share this secret knowledge, even if it means breaking my word to this most noble individual. Well, it's not going to do him any harm at this point. Eh, we'll take it just cause. Herbs, roots, just turn to healing. Hmm. I'd be a healer if I were a sorceress. It seems like the best use of your abilities. Also seems like something the most likely to convince people that you're a good and worthwhile person and someone that they should protect in case um, witch hunters or the like become a problem. Oh, Brother Adelbert's beast here. Each beast herein described in two manners ye may hunt. Either seek ye tracks, follow and strike the fallenness wherever in its wilds ye find it, or lure it to a chosen place and engage it there in advantageous battle. The latter poses less risk, for the hunter exposes no chance for an unexpected fight. Note, however, that to lure a beast into a trap, first its tastes and behaviors ye must know. As for forked tails, bait them thusly. Pound a stake in the soil, bind a goat to it, then hide ye in near two shrubbery post haste. The beast, lured by the caprine, 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 goat, odor, will without fail soon come. If it is a griffin ye seek to slay, take ye buckthorn from deep water. The mighty stench of this herb is to griffins like fresh roasted meat of the primest sort, and so come they will forthwith, though far away they might be. Turn into drowners and water hags, it is known to all and sundry that fish and rotting mollusks are their loves, and as for trolls, common hooch is their weakness. 
Good to know. Oh, what do we got here? Amulets are emanating magic. Gotta be Triss's. She was allergic to potions. Oh yeah, I'd forgotten that detail about her. So if she's got herbs and stuff down there, she wouldn't be using them for potions then, would she? Maybe she is. Have I read this before? I feel like maybe, but it's short. As a mule is neither ass nor horse, though it has traits of both, so are witches neither mages nor common men. That actually seems a really fair analogy. Witches are sterile, just like mules, and they're kind of in between. Yeah. Witches are able to cast simple spells they call signs, drawing on the, b the basics of telekinesis, ard, pyrokinesis, igni, hypnosis, axi, and so on. They are not, however, capable of utilizing more complex spells. Indeed, they treat real magic with reserve and distrust. Widespread in their ranks is an irrational, nigh on a superstitious fear of teleportation. Let me remind you that deadly accidents during translocational travel occur only once per 100 instances of such travel. Such a low risk rate. Yeah. This aversion surely stems from the fact that witches do not possess inborn magic talents, but instead gain them during their infamous Trial of the Grasses. It can thus be said that their casting spells is an affront to nature, as is, in fact, everything witches do. Well. But speaking of that, um... That reminded me that I did want to take a look at my points again, because I keep me I mean to get delusion, and then I always forget until we're in a situation where I need it, and I don't have it. Where is it? Far-reaching art. Sustained glyphs. Hmm. Delusion. Yeah. I do want it. As good as it gets. Might as well. All right. And oh, I do like my sign intensity, but. So what are we gonna- oh! I had an empty slot, I wasn't even paying attention. Alright, that'll be good. So, what else? If I move it up here... Oh, what a mess this is turning up to be. I meant to... Yeah! Even better. Now then, so what else do we have going on here? I'm all over the place. Alright, maximum vitality increased by 500. Where do I... Is there a way from here that I could just see my vitality total? That could be kind of handy. Let's click over till we find it. It's got to be on here somewhere. Mm. Player stats. Alright. Where's my vitality? Da, 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 da. There it is. So 5,340. I mean, 500's kind of a nice chunk, but I might be okay without it. There might be better things to have. Who was that? Oh, Annabelle. I'm going every wrong way. Here we go. Okay. We'll consider it, but take it off for now. Um, if we could put something else green here, then that would give us a vitality bonus and something else cool at the same time. Uh, I want to keep gourmet. That's pretty good. And that seems all right. So let's look at our greens. What have we got? Better tolerance, poison blades. Hmm. Okay, and then these are all the core ones, so they're always... So this is the one that I had on, right? Better toxicity. And um, we've got it. So what else? Yeah, alright. We can poison things. It's good. Although it's not very high level yet. But if we put it here, yeah. So vitality, I mean, that's that's a pretty decent boost. I know, we still had more because we had the 300 plus the 500, so. But I think we're going to be okay. Now, what do we want over here? I'm thinking probably another combat one. So... This is what we've got on fast attack damage up. 
And yeah. There we go, we'll try that out. Seems alright. Why? Whatever. I know, we're taking all her stuff. When we meet her, if she happens to ask and wants any of it back, I would gladly give it back. It's kind of crappy to take our friend's stuff. I'm just thinking, since we saw looters in here already, and we know that the temple claimed that all of her stuff is their stuff, someone else is going to come take it if we don't. And I feel like, honestly, she would rather that Geralt have it than the temple, so. Huh, a less fancy bath than the one that she had at Kaer Morhen. Nothing to say about that, Geralt? Hmm. Oh yeah, that's her jacket. Trisses. Never knew how to drop him on the floor. So maybe they awoke her in the middle of the... No, if it was the middle of the night, then she wouldn't have dropped him on the floor. And they look kind of dirty. Like she changed out of them real quick. Or... Or maybe they shrunk her into a figurine again, right? Because she comes out of that naked. Would that leave the clothes behind? Witchers, not quite. The devil and the Rose of Remembrance. Hang on. A conviction has arisen amongst both mages and the Hoi Polloi that witchers barely rise a hair's breadth above animals, that they are deformed and bloodthirsty mutants, and that in slaking this thirst they do not limit themselves to the fluids of monsters. Meanwhile, the research and observations of Virgil of Bannard paint an entirely different picture of the case. Of course, it is an indisputable fact that the mutations witchers undergo influence their temperament, immune system, strength, and endurance, yet one cannot consider them unthinking beings forged only for killing as a result. In fact, witchers cultivate a unique culture, a specialized body of knowledge, an effective training system, and even a code of honor. They know an incredible amount about the effects of ingesting various organic and inorganic substances, and also a small amount, but nevertheless something, about the fundamentals of magic, by which I mean the simple spells they call signs. On the surface, the witchers appear to be a homogenous social entity, but in truth their fighting styles, training regimens, and worldviews differ significantly depending upon the school to which they adhere. The best-known witcher schools on the continent are the School of the Wolf, the School of the Bear, the School of the Griffin, the School of the Viper, and the School of the Cat. Finally, a bit of positive information about witchers. I do like the blue bedding that she has chosen. Good taste. Yes, I see the sparkly thing over there. We're going to get it. I just want to grab everything else first. She's got a lot of book about witchers. Witcher signs. Oh, we read that. Okay, so then, what have we got here? That Rose of Remembrance. The Rose of Remembrance. All dried up. I thought that was used in the spell to ensorcel Saskia. If she's holding on to the Rose of Remembrance, likely it's because it's because it has to do with Geralt. But do we give her a charitable, charitable read on it and say it's just because she liked him or... I don't know, I'm a little... After everything that went down with Saskia and the Rose of Remembrance, and it was used to, as, like Philippa said, it was basically just a really strong love spell. I mean, maybe the Rose has other uses. Maybe it really could have helped Geralt remember. But a part of me wouldn't put it past Triss. Like, we'd been with her for how long? after game one and we're hanging out with her all throughout the beginning of game two and everything she's got this relationship going on with Geralt and then all of a sudden we're on the boat to Flotsam and he starts to remember Yen and Triss makes that uh oh face like uh oh the jig is up and then all of a sudden she's like oh yeah Rose of Remembrance maybe that'll get your memory back uh is it really gonna get his memory back or was she thinking about giving him some kind of love potion and hoping he'd forget about Yen I don't know I wouldn't put it past her That's going to be in our quest items, right? No, oh, it's just there. Alright, well, let's just talk to a beggar. That seems like the easiest thing to do. Or else we'll have a cutscene. What's this then? Oh, deepest apologies, Governor. Uh huh. Fetch some metal, you wretch. I've been robbed. Thief. 
Okay, he totally was a thief. I'm not entirely sure I saw where he went. It looks like someone was running off down the alley here. I think that's the guy that got robbed. Okay, I'm just herring off and it's not doing much of anything for me. Although... Okay. Hey. Dang it, I missed that guy. And I should have followed after him. They ought to never let your kind in, Novigrad proper. Well, if they didn't, you'd still be being robbed by the Doppler, and you guys would still have troubles with the succubus. So. You're sorted for at least two days. Just gotta just the good position where they toss the leftovers. From now on, assume your every move's observed. Okay, so upper level of the bridge? No, just talk to the beggar. Alright, it would have been more interesting to follow that thief. Would have been fun, but Take pity on me, misery good folk, and aid a man crippled by misfortune. Where it is, nothing's free in Novigrad. Oh, now one come bursting with questions. Now, where do you folk gain the idea we beggars know everything? Well, you're sitting and observing all day, right? I need to see this and I need to find that one who robbed me brother. Fuck if I know. Well, I'm not looking for this one or that one, or whoever robbed my brother. I just need the Putrid Grove. There's this place in Novigrad they call the Putrid Grove. Aye, it's about right. Well... Novigrad's full of nooks and crannies with odd names. Looking to sightsee by a bloody map. It's not going to be on a map. Come on now. Men like you frequent this alley. And I've heard they fed you all shit and you smiled and ate it. <laughs> now, don't be no offense. Go in peace. It's going to be like that, eh? Help a poor fellow out. You don't mean chimneys. Stop or tell the king. I'm just talking to you. Oh, someone left their picture out in the rain. Well... I can't tell if it wasn't good to start with and they just gave up or if the rain kind of ran everything together. Still seems a waste to just leave it out there. You call this living which Uh yeah. Well, it could be quite profitable. What are you talking about? What was captured and displayed? Well, well. All right, so who are we looking for in this particular ah. patch? We got a beggar lurking down here, or a thief. Now you. He sensed something. Got to stay further back. Who? Hey, thanks, thief. There was a thief. Where did he go? He's on the move. More cautious than I thought. Can't get too close. Okay. Why the hell are you following me? Because I've been watching Just you. Just happened to be going where you're going. And how the bloody hell do you know where I'm going? Hmm. Alright. We'll just come right out with it. Well, you're not as clever as you think. And I'm not blind. You're on your way to see the King of Beggars. Gonna rob me? No. Got any plowing idea what a courier is? Robbing you was never my plan. This gold is from the non-humans. Take it and you be fucked. I don't want it. I think you're stealing from the King of Beggars? Oh, I seemed that he was just like gathering money and was gonna go pay his cut or whatever. Huh. Let's say this. I'm interested to see where this conversation option takes us. Like you'll be when I let a few people know you pocket some. Not all the non-human gold makes it to the king, does it? What the fuck are you on about? I don't pocket a thing. I'm not the one you need to explain this to. All this shot goes to the king, along with whatever I make. Uh-huh. Well, actually think Bedlam would believe you? You're in for a fucking surprise. Come on, genius. Can't wait to see what he does to you. All right, well... We got a path to the putrid gro Oh, through the ticket place. Or this might just be the fastest route there. I kind of hope it's something to do with all these folk, though. A quick talker and a quick stalker, eh? I like that.
Aw. Not back by the stage. Very well. Is there a land where I might find more of your kind? Mm hmm. Oh, all these poor people huddled against the rain. Okay. Nosy bugger. Hmm. Yeah, terrible treat. <laughs> Poking around where I probably shouldn't be, I know. But I gotta find the putrid grove. That's a secret place for secret folk doing secret business. And who's to say you're any good at keeping a secret? Yeah, me. Me. You have my word. A freak's bilgy guess, not more. How stupid you think I am? Mm. Look, I'm not... Oh, come on, I didn't come here to fight. Fine, then, we will... Oh, it's a fist fight? No, I feel like maybe no they're all just punching I was gonna draw my sword but that doesn't seem sporting not that they're very sporting either it's four against one No, I didn't mean to. Easy. Jump me, are we? Sheave your steel. Please? Got a simple question. I was just trying to eat some meat. You're gonna give me a simple answer. Where's the putrid grove? In... In Lysol's. Down an alley. Man, guarding the gate. Gotta give him the password. Mm. What is the password? Old sows. Farrowed piglets. Not sure I can trust See, that, but... Just gotta make the effort. I'm interested in his tattoo here. It looks like a whole bunch of text, perhaps, but can't read it. Um, I'm not sure that we can trust what he just told us, though. What if that's what if they have multiple passwords, and that's the password that they give to someone who, to say like, kill this guy, he's not allowed in here. Maybe I'm being overly paranoid, but it seems it seems plausible that they would come up with such a thing. Why is your hair so grey, darling? Alright, I wanna know what's... Oh! This is, the, this is the answer right here. Every time I say to myself, I wanna know what's down this alley, it's just gonna be a bandit. didn't actually mean to just punch. We wanted to grab the loot. Ugh, I don't even want any of that. This is the spot, okay? Open up. Who are you and what you want? <laughs> Just curious what you got back there. Doing some sightseeing. Kind of curious about what's beyond this gate. My brother in law was curious. Worms been eating him for five years now. All right then. Take a look. What do you see? Yellow eyes. Pair of swords. Mutated killer, me thinks. Heard this place was a meeting spot for oddities. Heard right. Know the password, get him free. Don't know it. Gotta to contribute to the Graves upkeep. Hmm. <laughs> 
I like to tiptoe through the tulip. I kind of really want to say that just to hear it in Geralt's voice. <laughs> it's worth it. I like to tiptoe through the tulips. Not, not the password. Still, worth saying. Don't know the password. Yes, you do. Just let me in. I won't pay. Let me in. Yes, sir. Ooh, a sir even. Well, thank you. I feel a little bad. We should have just said the password and got in the honest way, but I really needed Geralt to say tit through the tulips. All right, so. Mutant. Meh, doorman. All right, it's really dark in here. Let's just wait a couple hours, and then we can see better. Yeah, unless it's still a crappy rainy day. It's a little better. So, are these all areas that you can't reach otherwise? I would assume so. You gotta go through the door, right? Mmm, doesn't seem to be too terrible much here thus far. Okay. But I thought I saw the sign of a merchant, so let's see about it. Let's foolishly jump off the edge. A sorceress, eh? Okay, okay, I was just wondering if you were someone I knew. I do know a fair amount of sorceresses. Hello there, merchant. Mm -hmm. What are you offering? Nothing awesome. Ooh. Oh, that's kind of awesome. It's better than what I got. Seracanian. Oh, I've already read these. That's why they're grayed out, if I would pay attention. All right. See you. That's pretty. Okay, let's put on those saddlebags while I'm thinking about it, because otherwise I, I'll forget and they'll just be in my inventory not doing me any good. There we go. I kind of like to see them. Can she show up in the city? Supposed to rain. <gasps> there she is. I just want to see your new saddlebags. Now they don't quite match. The Nilf Guardian stuff, I gotta say, it does look really good. The flashy gold with the subdued black. It's nice. But we don't really want to be advertising Nilf Guard. Alright. We need to go the other way, so let's go around here. See what we can come up with. Don't get stuck on a fence. Uh. Can I help you in any way? Maybe. I mean, you seem like someone I should be able to talk to, all you mages. I just want to know if uh, Triss is in here. Wait, the king needs the mages? Then... But hasn't he been hiding all of the witch burning and stuff? No, no, wrong king. King of beggars. The king of beggars values the mages. Got it. For some reason I was thinking rat of it. I was like, that doesn't make sense. No, it doesn't make sense. King of beggars, obviously. So, that's why he lets him be in here. Because the mages are of use to him. <laughs> I was thinking of a bit of enjoyment Well, what say you, thief? What are you playing at? 
my bestie. Get an honest job. I have an honest job. Mostly, sometimes I lie to people and tell them I kill monsters that I didn't kill. But in, it's kind of, it, it's arguably somewhat honest. <laughs> Those guys that fart and then laugh, good grief. They kind of crack me up. No, we can't just climb over here? Very well. Gonna encourage that behavior, eh? <laughs> You're a good lad. Good sir. All right, this looks like the place we need to be. Yeah, who was talking to me just then? It sounded like he knew what he was talking about. Oh, there she is. I guess incurable disease is more terrifying than torture. In that case, I'll count on more tribute coming in. You already take 80% of what we receive. Aye, but don't forget it's me who secures the nooks and crannies where you and yours can hide. That's the conversation? Alright. So, I really should just go in there, but... As you know, I'm not really looking forward to this. And it's been about an hour. I am going to go ahead and wind the episode down here. And I'm not doing it just to be a jerk, not just because I don't want to talk to Tris, but also because I think we're probably going to get into a fair amount of cutscene and conversation. And we, we are at about the hour mark. Um, that'll put us quite a bit over, which isn't the end of the world, but, you know, i got to go hang out with my kids and stuff, too. So, about an hour is a reasonable time to step away. Beyond that, got to have time for family. So then, please like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this. Come back, and next time, we will talk to Tris. She's right there. It's good to know that she's not actually dead. I, I am glad that she's alive. Um, and we'll see if she knows anything about Siri. and... Ugh, I'm a fool and I might even try to help her. Ugh, oh, because she is Geralt's friend and she sounds like maybe she could use help. We'll see.